What? Why are you so excited, Charmander? started with this video give it a thumbs up broski thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items for this video and the first one is a doozy do y'all see this this is the nvidia shield tv and the nvidia shield tv is getting a refresh called the nvidia shield tv Pro! Like, Obi-Wan, I clicked on this because the title of the video was Nintendo Switch Pro, not NVIDIA Shield Pro, but the NVIDIA Shield is what the original Switch's architecture was based on, specifically the Tegra X1 chip. What's different with this device? The um, NVIDIA TV Switch Pro will have a new chip called the Tegra X1 Plus which is promised to be 25% faster than the current Nvidia ch um, chip which 25% faster doesn't seem like that much of an improvement but who knows how it will affect um frame rates and resolution for tv gaming that's what we want to see with the next iteration of the switch faster um frame rates and a higher resolution and so um the major the bulk of the specs for this device is the same um it's going to have the same 16 gigabyte flash storage three gigabytes of ram for the nvidia um, shield tv um, but the biggest thing is there's going to be an X1 Plus processor. Now, one or two things this does uh, for the Switch, for the Switch, one or two things. It will be a refreshed model with higher uh, processing power, um, better quality games, or this could be the Mariko chip that's currently in the revised switch model that i have right here we're playing the asphalt name bro in the revived switch model this could be the what the tegra x1 plus is the, that mariko chip where instead of giving us um gaming performance boost it's allowed for longer battery life um in the current switch model which i'm sort of leaning more towards that's what's in the, the revised model that Nintendo low-key um, snuck into uh, the new Switch that they just slid into store shelves without us knowing. Um, I'm thinking we're going to get a Switch Pro in 2021. A real upgrade to the current Switch, at least 2021. That year, it'll be at least four years on the market so gamers won't feel burnt and... I don't think Nintendo's gonna next next year when Sony, Microsoft's talking about new hardware, Nintendo's gonna be hitting us with games, bro. Nintendo's gonna be focusing on software. This year was hardware. And they still deliver with so the Switch is killing it with games right now, bro. I posted this on Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays. Right now I'm playing as Asphalt 9. Excuse me. Zelda Link's Awakening NBA 2K we'll talk about 2K at the end of this video too and um, one other game and Overwatch bro you got racing sports shooting um, adventure all um, within a short period of time I like the diversity of games Nintendo is giving us as gamers 
lit 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 right now the switch is what i'm gaming on exclusively right now um because of the games that are coming out so and luigi's mansion 3 right around the corner pokemon next month and so the game the content keeps coming but switch pro possibly possibly with this nvidia shield tv pro er, i'm leaning more towards this is our upgrade right here the the new revised model I'm appreciating this battery life, bro. Battery life is crazy on this system. I don't know if I'm going to get the Pokemon Switch Lite yet, man. I'm still debating, still debating. All right, next news item. Speaking of Nintendo Switch Lite and just sales for the Switch in general, the Nintendo Switch has just pat has sold more than 15 million consoles just in North America. The latest NPD numbers have been released for September and Nintendo has been killing it all year long. <coughs> it was the best selling hardware outside the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One um, every month this year, every month. And the Switch Lite has just continued to keep the momentum going. Switch is killing it over 15 million units just in the US, which is a crazy, crazy good number for Nintendo. So Nintendo's doing good. What more can you say? Next news item, this is pretty interesting. Dudes have modded Witcher 3 on Switch that allows for PC graphic settings and 60 frames per second. This is coming from Kotaku.com. <coughs> um, the version they're saying the version of Witcher 3 that exists on the Switch is a miracle in itself. But the game at default runs at 720p 30 frames per second. Modders have uh, found that the Switch version is just a port of the PC version running at um, 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 low settings. But by overclocking the system and disabling the game's dynamic resolution um, along with increasing other settings like the forward density and post-processing effects you get a version of Witcher 3 that looks a lot better and sometimes even gets to 60 frames per second so they overclocked the switch and allowed it to run at 60 I'm saying with even this new version of the switch model I think that if Nintendo were to overclock this, you could it could push out better graphics. But Nintendo's priority is battery efficiency um, with the Switch, and so you could probably have it run at 60 frames per second <coughs> and only play it for like 30 minutes. Then you got to recharge your Switch. <laughs> so they've modded Witcher 3 to run at 60 frames per second. It's possible, bro. Overclock your Switch. Next news item. Pokemon! More information has come out concerning Pokemon Sword and Shield, specifically what's known as the Wild Area. This is a free range open area where you could explore freely, capture Pokemon, and uh, this isn't confirmed, but I was told that you could interact with other, you'll see other um, players online in this wild area. And. The size of the wild area has been revealed. Speaking to Metro, developers of the game has revealed that the wild area is about the size of two regions within the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which means it's a pretty um, decent size. And so it's going to be a huge open area where you can freely explore. I think that's a cool addition to the game. Um... Some people have been criticizing the game. Some are cool. I like, I like the art style. I like how the game looks. Wait till you play the game first, bro. You got to play the game. Try it. You might like it. Green eggs and ham. Same I am. But um, the wild area, wild area Pokemon. Um, let's go. Can't, um, let's go. <laughs> Sword and Shield. Can't wait for the game to launch next month. And I found this pretty interesting. Hey, 2K. Right now, I am grinding um, 2K on the switch a pure sharpshooter right now on the nintendo switch nba 2k the game has been out 
for one month. And in just one month, it's the best selling game of the entire 2019. <laughs> in one month, it sold more copies than any other game for the entire year. In spite of the game's flaws, this game has had the worst launch in any 2K history. But dude still went out in droves and picked it up. The game is still a success as far as um, sales are concerned. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video, bruh? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy.